Just one be day, he day yeah he day. How about how one be day? He day yeah he day. Ah, and he tell me he turn up, turn up. Me I could save his little yo, but that my love bang yo. It's the God, the God, who's God? Me and you, I can't walk up. There's no other place to go. What's up? Hello guys, welcome back to Dear Timmy. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> welcome back to Dear Timmy. My name is Myra. I'm glad you are back. You made it back. Praise the Lord. I'm so happy. I'm really ginger today. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I'm excited about this topic, what we're talking about today before we get into it i just want to say thank you my heart is my heart is overflowing with oh my god thank you thank you for all the messages you guys have sent me personally the people that have my eye trying on by and she thank you to people who have sent me dms on instagram the people who forwarded the love never fails video he was not for you video um thank you for the love on chingon boys <laughs> I, I i don't even know what to say thank you thank you thank you is the only thing i can say um before we get into this video if you have not liked shared and subscribed please go ahead and do it like i said in my previous that our goal is to hit it is to hit 10,000 subscribers it sounds really crazy but i truly believe that there's nothing god can't do that's my own belief okay so i'm gonna stay with it so thank you so much for all the love all your beautiful words of encouragement i literally i've gotten two calls today from random people who are like thank you so much i don't know how you're gonna get my number but thank you so much god bless you for all your words of encouragement because today i was not going to edit i was just like let me skip this week i'm tired <laughs> honestly <laughs> But I was like, you know what, Maiwa, let's just let's do it. Where we are going is very far. Oh no, what gym? Let's 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 get let's get on this. Today we're talking about something that I am so excited about. I feel like jumping off the walls. Like I'm so excited because this girl, she failed a lot when I was in school. The title of this video is Failure is just an event, it is not a person. I'ma say it again. Catch that one in your spirits, man. Failure is just an event it is not a person why am i saying that why when i was younger hmm especially when i was in school hmm that's why my husband was no book very well i know book too but i mean like man i failed a lot of things i failed in school Especially math. Math was the one that whooped me. Math, eh? Math used to flog me with koboko. You know koboko? If you know koboko, go and Google it. Math, I failed so many things in school and I always felt like such a failure. I know I'm laughing and I'm joking, but I'm so serious. Like, I grew up with a sense of. I just felt like I was such a failure growing up. I felt like I never could measure up. I felt like. I never made the cut. I felt like I was subpar. I was below. I was. <sighs> I failed a lot of things in school. My GPA in high school was the worst. Middle school was okay. We're struggling a little bit. We're still getting B's and C's. But man, high school, man, I was recording things like F's, D's. <sighs> I just remember there was a day that the Lord was speaking to me about failure just looking back to god to god be the glory i made it i went to school i was just thinking back and the lord was just reminding me and he was like my failure is an event it is not a person there are two ways to look at failure the first way to look at failure is looking at it as a person like i'm a failure failure is here to stay like I failed this one thing or I failed math like for me it was math I failed math all through high school or I failed language arts whatever it is that you failed social studies composition I don't know what you failed in school whatever you failed you can look at it and think of it as I'm you know I just I just will never make it again I'm I'm, I'm never I'm not meant for greatness it, this is what you it depends on how you see to you know and then there's the other side or the other flip of this coin where you're just like, 
I failed. So what? I'm going to do better. Failure many times is needed for success. Me, I will say that in my own life, the reason why I have come this far was because I failed at so many things. I failed so many things, but if I had not failed those things, if I did not hit rock bottom, like somebody said, after rock bottom, there's no other place to go but up. Sometimes you actually need to feel that rock at the bottom of your feet, you know, but if I had not failed that or failed those, I would not be here today. I needed to taste that failure so I can be like, my wow, this is not my portion. The Lord has called me the head and not the tail. With Proverbs 24, 16, in the New Living Translation, I love it in the New Living Translation. It is something that helped me out when I was in high school and I felt like nothing good could ever come out of my life. It says, the godly, the godly, who is the godly? Me and you, the godly, at least in Christ Jesus, the godly may trip seven times, but they will get up again. I'm going to say it again. The godly, me and you, may trip seven times, but they will. It's not they may. Uh-uh. They will get up again. And I'm saying this to you right now. Whatever situation you find yourself right now, whatever circumstances, it might be school, like the way it was for me, or relationship, or, or at a job, or you just got fired. I don't know what situation you're in, but the Bible is letting us know the godly will fall. They may fall seven times, but they will get up again. You will get up again. In the name of Jesus, you will get up again change your mindset and think of failure as an event an event is something something that happened one time one time it happened and we move past it it's like your, I know, your birthday is an event i had a birthday party it was an event and the next day came the sun rose praise the lord think of it as an event and not a person when you think of failure as a person you're never going to succeed learn to think of failure as rock bottom so that you can spring back up to the top where you need to be that's all we have for today literally failure is an event it is not a person failure is not here to stay if you dive into the word of god you see so many scriptures that god has said promises in his word like i said you're the head you're not the tail you're above or not you're not beneath you're in front those are the things i say over myself i prophesy over myself every single day i'm in front i'm not at the back who puts me at the back Nobody puts me at the back. God put me in the front. I'm at the front. And I wish that these were things that I said and I spoke over myself when I was in high school, when I was in middle school. I didn't know. Ignorance. But now that I know and now that you know, let's change our mindset. Let's reconceptualize what failure is. If you feel that that relationship, you messed up for legit. You actually didn't mess up. You cheated. Oh, it's an event. Learn from it. Ask God for forgiveness and let's move forward. There are better things ahead than any that we've left behind. That's C.S. Lewis, by the way. God bless you. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and remember, failure is an event. It's not a person. It's not here to stay. All right? God bless you. Follow me on Instagram. My name is Jisla Negris. Follow Timmy on Instagram. She's Timmy1887. Like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. And stay locked into this space because God is doing great things here. All right? I love y'all. Jesus love y'all even more. And have a wonderful day. Bye.